Hi, hi, what's up? Subscribe to my YouTube channel Super Princess Joe and hit on that bell icon to see all my latest videos first. Hey guys, so welcome to another vlog and I'm starting this vlog at Bangalore International Airport. I am going off to Mumbai and then I have a layover time there in Mumbai uh, for a few hours and then I'm going off to Turkey. I'm going to Istanbul guys and I'm going for a global summit where world's top 200 influencers are invited. I am one among them. So I'm really privileged, honored, grateful and very excited to explore the beautiful city of Istanbul and also to meet all the other influencers from all over the world and many more things that I'm going to do there. So I will be sharing that with you here in the vlog right now <laughs> it's a night flight it's like 11 p.m. my flight is at 11 30 p.m. that's why you see this no makeup face because I want my skin to breathe and uh, I have a very long travel as well ahead of me I'm traveling alone so I will take you guys along just for the flight and after one and a half hours I'll be landing in Mumbai at 1 a.m. Abhishek Bachchan, he's here. Hi, hi, what's up? And I'm really happy Thank to you see very much. you. Thank you. Very and sweet. lots of love to Aradhya Thank you. and Ashwarya. Thanks very much. Bye. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye. So yeah, this was specially for you guys. So there you can also see him. And seriously, he's so sweet. And it is really <laughs> starstruck moment kind. And you know, people look so different in real life. So it was really nice seeing him. Now I have to collect my luggage. It's 1 a.m. And then I have to check in at the international airport. So guys, it's 3 a.m. at night and my flight is delayed for two hours. I have checked in my check-in bag and the other bags are with me. Um, it's 3 a.m. guys and I cannot go in because after security there is immigration and immigration does not start. Uh, more than before four hours and there is no toilet area or sitting here near immigration so I cannot pass through and then not cannot go to the lounge area so I have to somehow kill one and a half hours here so I'm sitting here at a coffee shop editing a vlog from my Bangalore travel and having a cappuccino and charging my phone and here is my luggage and uh, the coffee shop is called the square in case you come to terminal 2 of mumbai international airport this is such a nice coffee shop after just you check in your luggage all our luggage is fitted into this mercedes van and now we are heading to hotel So guys, I'm going to start my room too. This is the entrance of my hotel room. I'm staying at Ritz Carlton. As you enter this room on the left, there is this coffee shelf where you have coffee machine. And then there is this box with all the coffee and tea accessories, cups 
and uh, some complimentary water and there is a huge mirror in here next to it is a door which doesn't open so i guess this is to pass through the other room if someone wants to take two rooms for as family room this doesn't open right now then here on the left there is this photo frame um uh, i have no idea about this but looks like turkish turkish emperor kind of picture something historic and here i see ladies or women on the other side of this door and this is the entrance to the bathroom so as you see here this is how the bathroom looks it has a huge uh, light on the roof and then it has a huge mirror and then it also has that magnifying circle mirror it has two beautiful lamps on both the sides then water taps and then towels and hooks and storage place and stuff like that there is drawer so in the drawer they have here dryer on the other drawer just empty space to keep your towels they have put all the hand towels and the bath towels on the sides of these table here are the extra towel and then here are the facial tissue here is the complimentary shampoo conditioner shower gel body lotion sanitary bag and shower cap this is my favorite part and uh, as you see in the hotel it has all this um turkish handcrafted tiles it is the traditional turkish design so i really like the ambience of that then here is the cupboard so there is a floor mat a tissues holder and tissue there is a picture again here and then intercom connection and this is the whole setup and uh, the door is glass door so this is like not see through this is just translucent next to the bathroom is the shower area so it also has this see through glass guys i think <laughs> you can see if someone takes shower inside this you can actually if you want you can see them so this is the bathroom and the beautiful bathroom which has marbles and uh, nice this traditional tiles and enough for one person to take shower and they have um another shower gel and conditioner and shampoo here here on the left side you have a bath tub and uh, if you want to have this is really huge bath tub uh, especially for my size this is really too big and then there is a mirror in here left to the bath tub so bathroom is quite spacious and very beautiful because of all the marbles and stuff like that i really want to see how they lit up because it looks like a lamp this is how they light up they look like lamp but they have actually bulbs inside that so now it's looking more beautiful inside this bathroom as you walk out of the bathroom this is the huge closet with two side doors once you open the door it has this digital safe or electronic safe where you can keep your belongings and then it has regular stuff like hangers i really like that they have given so many hangers for uh, this room and then bathrobe and then laundry bag and then two pair of shoe mat shoes <laughs> shoes two pair of shoes and iron board and iron and some storage a uh, table to keep your luggage and there is more storage here on the top so this is how this looks coming back to the room i really like the carpet also as i told you it's more traditional historic turkish style so here is the floor mat i just received my luggage i started doing my room tour even before getting my luggage and then this room has two single beds i am here all by myself i wish i had a king size bed or queen size bed but uh this is the room that they gave me i'm still okay with that <laughs> if i spoil one bed one night and i don't do my room cleaning next day i can sleep on the other bed so that's the plan so these two single beds more photo frames in here a huge light night lamp clock i like that they have a clock here with 
sleep alarm reset and all that's must when you're traveling alarm is very must and then there is more information and telephone here and then there is more sitting area so there is one couch sofa here um, side of the bed to relax there is a standing lamp a huge photo frame a beautiful round coffee table or tea table and then ritz carlton magazine and more about istanbul shopping guide for 2017 so i'm gonna go through all this and on the left side this is the study table this is where i will be editing all my vlogs and all i already opened up my bag my backpack because that was very heavy from the travel and i wanted to sort out things because i'm stepping out right away in 20 minutes i'm going to out of going out of the hotel to eat and explore the city so there is a chair and table and my stuff lying down in here uh, this is my makeup bag wallet some mini battery backup which i just got as a complimentary when i got the new sim card and then i got a new piece of jewelry at the airport so just my stuff and there is this another chair in here for sitting and then this is to um shoe mist and shoe polish and then there is a television in the room so yeah and there is another mirror he in here and i haven't opened the curtains so far so for you guys i will open and show you how the city looks from here wow look at that i can see that mediterranean sea view i can see ships i can see the road and the traffic and all this beautiful buildings there this is the view from my room and this is under the room i think this is part of the hotel and right now it's super cold it's eight degrees centigrade my hands were freezing because i was not wearing gloves and you can see by the shape and the color of the leaves of the trees it's very chilly right now so i need to just change and go out i'll catch you soon So I just quickly freshened up. I'm sitting at the lobby. I'm waiting for one of my friends and I have this gloves on because it's super cold. I tried to take some pictures outside the hotel and the wind was so chilly. So my hands and fingers, everything was freezing cold. I had to do that. So on top of my outfit, I'm wearing this winter jacket, which is super warm. I'm also wearing body warmer and a sweater. We are just heading out to eat something and explore the city. And then we will come back for the welcome dinner. So we have come out on a walk. It is super chilly. I was wearing gloves but for vlogging I have to get off my gloves. I took off my gloves because I cannot operate the camera if I am wearing the gloves. Uh, right now it's evening time. It's called Tikshim Tower if I am not wrong. And we still have to enter here and check out. It's supposed to be the most crowded and happening place here in Istanbul. This area 
like Times Square of Istanbul and uh, you see the screens behind so there are a couple of screens behind and uh, there's lots of open space there's a lot of street vendors street food vendors and I see a lot of shops there I see Turkey flag there and also that side I see beautiful flowers so I'm really excited to go there but the weather is super cold guys I just cannot tell you how chilly it is right now but it's so much fun to explore the city at this time and it is just 6 p.m. it's not even night but because of the chilly weather it's getting really darker here So we are entering this Takshim street as you see it's very crowded but it is very pretty as well. The food looks so tempting here guys. Oh my god the first view of baklava. If you have seen my previous vlog when in Singapore I went to Arab street I tried out this baklava. This is their trademark sweet dish. This is super sweet. It has 12 to 14 layers of uh, the batter and then pistachio and the sugar syrup this is delicious and a lot of food here everything is so tempting and I'm actually very hungry right now so I'm only looking at food Bye. There are so many options to eat here. In fact, there are so many options in Turkish cuisine. Just look at this. Everything is looking so tempting, but I don't know what to eat because I don't know the names of the dishes. A lot of shopping options here and the, here are the shawls option. They have silk and puff shawls, wooden stuff and all that. So still exploring the city and we are now at this uh, different area. This is called Ishikatala. And we are just exploring these narrow beautiful lanes. Everything is so pretty here and everything looks so new. Just look at this. Ananas, that is pomegranates. How they have peeled only the top of the pomegranates to show you what's inside and you can choose what you want to buy oh look at this this is the galata tower for which we walked so much how pretty is that amazing You can actually go up into this tower. I see a lot of people up there in the Galata Tower.
guys just done with dinner at Four Season Hotels Bosphorus and now you can see the beautiful bridge it is so beautiful and then you can see the river and ocean view you can also see a cruise there uh, the party is going on we are just done with dinner so we are now heading back to hotel